haven't addressed the trauma post-George Floyd, nor have most of us addressed it from 400 years. Slavery, trauma, being separated from families. My ancestors survived but they perhaps had to endure some of the things that I'm reading. And what they experienced was something that got translated all the way down 400 generations. Addressing trauma, an experience that is emotionally painful, distressful, or shocking, is rarely discussed in African-American communities. It just went from one generation to the next generation. Dr. Seema Patel is from the Center for Functional Medicine at the Cleveland Clinic. When we look at the Holocaust victims, that has been well studied. We have not looked at African Americans who are descendants of slaves and the trauma that comes from that. Where do we begin to understand the connection of trauma, racism, and health disparities? Where we start is at the beginning. And the trauma of being enslaved. they would be captured by African slave traders. And then they would have to walk who knows how far. Eventually they would get to the southern coast where in Ghana there are a number of slave castles or forts or they were originally called factories. They built it with dungeons, underground dungeons. We know that once people went through that door that door led onto the shore. And we can talk about tight packers. What I always think about is just the sway of the ship on the ocean and people lying down and their bodies chafed or even having to eat, having to eliminate. All of this in the same space. So it's understandable how so many people had diseases, they became ill, many died. They also resisted. Although the Middle Passage involved many countries, 1619 marked the arrival of the first recorded Africans to English North America. Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt land. So we're enslaved, and the trauma of being enslaved, the no trauma of not owning yourself, of not owning your children, our inability to address that trauma uh, affects our mental health, which affects our physical health. I would be surprised if if not every single person who endured that had post-traumatic stress disorder as a result. Clinical psychologist Monica Williams is a researcher, author, and sought-after expert on racial trauma. Racism, it's, it's, it's long and wide and deep. And I say that because it, you know, it started from the very beginning, you know, when Black people were enslaved as a way to rationalize enslaving another human being, um, uh, this, this system was invented whereby there's white people and then everybody else who has less value. We look at everything from Reconstruction to Jim Crow to civil rights to now. A lot of that we were fighting and in that fight in that struggle comes stress and trauma. Dr. Barnett says healing begins when we talk about our trauma and realize... Oftentimes, if it happened to you, it probably happened to someone in your family, your mother, your grandmother, your great-grandmother. They also need to go further back and all the way back because as you do that, you are able to release 
all the trauma because it was passed down through the gene line and it was never discussed and it was never talked about. It just went from one generation to the next generation. Transgenerational trauma, also known as intergenerational trauma, it can show up biologically, socially, mentally, or emotionally. Racism actually contributes to a lot of the healthcare disparities that we see. There's a um, area of medicine called epigenetics. Our bodies, our, our genes actually can be altered in, in terms of how our bodies interpret or express our genes, uh, which can lead to higher rates of a lot of the diseases, disease states that, that we see. Higher rates of obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure. So the more racism you experience, the worse your mental health, the worse your physical health, um, and for many reasons. Both Dr. Williams and Dr. Barnett say more people of color should be trained and sent into the communities to bring more awareness about trauma and other mental health issues in places like barbershops, beauty salons, and churches. Great and mighty is our God. Great and mighty is our God. Licensed professional clinical counselor and minister Carmela Hill says the church mirrors the black community in dealing with mental health issues. Spirituality is very valuable. It's something that's always historically been within the community. But from there, a plan could be talking to a mental health provider in the community. Addressing trauma dating back 400 years, its connection with racism and health disparities continues by building awareness studying its effects, and working towards healthier outcomes for all African Americans. 400 Years of Trauma is a production of Intentional Content, Inc., and part of the Connecting the Dots Between Race and Health, a project of IdeaStream Public Media, funded by the Dr. Donald J. Goodman and Ruth Weber Goodman Philanthropic Fund of the Cleveland Foundation.